not working. Okay, I need you one thing. Okay, I'm up and running, so come on board. Sorry about that. Um, there was a critical um, software that needed to be updated, and that's why this wasn't working. So, anyway, um, <coughs> <coughs> hope you come on here. Sorry about that. Um, sometimes that happens. It was acting up a little bit today when I was talking to my daughter. So, uh, you know how electronics are. They go into a hissy fit. Okay, now, this is Friday, October 27th, 2023. And welcome to Ginger's Chat Show. And... <coughs> It's Halloween, Halloween weekend because Halloween is on a Monday. It's coming Monday. Or not Monday. It's on a Tuesday. <laughs> uh, coming on Tuesday. And of course there's other news that's happening right now. Um, I don't know why this is not working. Let me check. Sure. Uh, okay. There we go. Hi Ginger. <laughs> hey sis <laughs> um hope all is well in Boston uh North Dakota is getting snow right now really like 6 to 10 inches of snow they got slammed the last couple of days um so I feel kind of sorry for them uh, some, they were caught almost flat footed on this so, um, cause they, a lot of, they expect storms like this to hit until the end of October, but ha 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 ha. Mother Nature's not happy with this. Um, so anyway, there's two that came up. Who's the other one that said to, huh, okay. Um, <clears throat> as for the manhunt that's going on in Maine, just came on in ABC News. Hey, Carolyn. Uh, they, they, they caught this Robert Card who's doing the uh, shooting, and right now they got his house surrounded. Oh, hug to you, Virginia. I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah. Um... Anyway, with the gunman, he's got his house surrounded and they're, this has been going on for some time. So they they caught him at his house. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how all this goes. Um, oh, another thing too before I forget. Don't forget, today is National Black Cat Day. If you have a black cat, love them, give them treats, play with them, you know, whatever. My Loki's taking a nap in my bedroom right now. Um, so, anyway, happy National Black Cat Day. It doesn't hurt to have a black cat. Uh, there's some people that still have superstitions, which is ridiculous, uh, in my book. Um, that black cats do bring good luck, and my Loki's been bringing me good luck, so he's a good boy. Um... So anyway, they're, right now, it's just ongoing with this guy. 
okay, this, this card dies. So I hope they take him into custody soon. So we'll see how this all goes. Now, on to the next news. Um, Ivanka Trump, she's in trouble with the judge. And he says, no, you will testify. <laughs> how old is Henry, uh, Virginia? Do you know? Loki's five. He'll be six pretty soon, so. He thinks he's still a kitten, more than anything. Anyway, she, the judge, she was going to try to back out of not testifying against her dad, and the judge said, no, you will testify, because you made a deal. So she couldn't back out of it. Oh, okay. Eight years. That's not bad. But he's a couple, couple years lo older than Loki. Uh -uh. <coughs> so, um, I will find out more, more on that. <coughs> I'm sorry. The wind out there is blowing around and pollen. <laughs> Um, is causing me some issues, so I'm going to have a little bit of trouble today. Oh, George Santoros had uh, pleaded not guilty for the fraud, but he's still in trouble with Congress. There are four, four Republicans that are pushing to have him give him the boot. Um, uh, he does not belong, he said he does not belong there, he's not being fair as a constituent, and he's not only that, but he committed fraud against them as well. And the constituents want, wants him voted, that's what they want. And they will elect a new, uh, yeah, as far as the Speaker of the House goes, it's been only three days, so we don't know what's really going to happen yet. I wouldn't panic yet, Virginia. Uh, we'll just see how this all this goes. Because the guy could be all talking and, you know, crazy talk and really no action as far as this crazy talk. Remember, he's a lawyer, okay? He's a licensed lawyer, so he knows the law. So he knows a lot of the stuff he talks about, it's not going to wash, okay? So we'll see how this goes. I wouldn't write him off yet, because maybe by this time next year he'll be out of a job anyway, okay? Providing if he's not voted out by one vote uh, again by gate. Frankly, I think Gates and MTG and Bobert, those guys are the ones that need to go. And the Freedom Caucus needs to be shut down. I think that's the best thing for the jobs to be done properly, okay? Um, anyway, George Santos, he looks like he may be given a boot. Well, that happens. They lost their majority anyway, okay? Um, uh, he's no longer on any committees, um, he's been pretty, staying pretty quiet, pretty much. Um, another thing, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene yesterday, she got an earful. She's been censored by the Republican side of the House for her actions and the, the censorship was made up of by two de two republicans two republicans and two democrats and they've slammed her a good one so she's being censored and she has three day to ans answer to that uh, and then they'll be ready again, and then she has to stand in the well of the house, in the, the house chambers, in the well, and listen to the censorship and what's going to happen. And 
you'd think the woman would know better. Okay. Um, she's done and said all these things. She's she had very poor behavior. Let's put it this way. Um, she's the one that also needs to be voted out. Okay. Now, as far as Mike Johnson goes, again, I don't know what's going to happen. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But he did pass funding for uh, Israel, and he they will pass funding for the uh, Ukraine. Law and feel, well, the money should stay here. Well, the problem is when you have a, a dictator over in Russia that's posing a threat to everybody else, you've got to back up your allies, okay? We could do both, okay? We could take care of us here. We could take care of our friends over in Ukraine, and we could take care of our friends over in Israel. Hamas is made up of militants from different countries. And Syria is backing Hamas, okay? Syria, remember back in history, Syria has, ha has attacked Israel before. Some of you may remember, some of you may not remember. Remember the 1973 Yom Kippur War that broke out? Where Egypt, Syria, um, J Jordan... Uh, one other country. Yeah, yeah, that's going to happen too. Thank you, Virginia. Um, so anyway, the 1973 war, guess what? Israel kicked butt. They beat them back. And that's how Israel attain, obtained the Gaza Strip, okay? And they occupied it. Well, really what Israel should have done for the Palestinian people themselves, okay, not the Hamas, not Jordan, not Yemen, not uh, Syria. Palestinian people themselves, it, for the Palestinian people to have their own nation, okay. Um, I feel sorry for them being caught in, in between all this. The Hamas is using them as hostages as well, okay? Um, so, we need to go after the bad guys, which is Hamas, okay? Um, any terrorist group. Uh, and there are also another thing, too, that just came up in the news. There's a um, rumor going around that Vladimir Putin may be he may be dead. Um, they have not heard a peep out of the Kremlin or anything what's going on. They haven't seen him. Just a minute, I'm working on my lunch. <laughs> Then we're basically all alone, and that's not good either, okay? Um, so, um, as far as MTG, George Soros, they're going to be out, and a number of other, um, oh, I know, I know Trump, the Trump family has to go. They're, they'll be going. They'll be in jail. Okay. Maybe on jail. Maybe the kids in probation and everything else. They're not officially indicted. Okay. But, um, Trump is the one that's been indicted. So he, but by this time, I feel about this time next spring, he's going to be in jail or sooner. Because, uh, also, um, Braddy Don, as I called him, um, he threw a hissy fit in the fraud trial yesterday. And Judge Ngoron, um, put 
him on the stand and said, he asked him a question and everything else. He says, well, uh, he said, who you spoke out against or who did you threaten against? And which was uh, Michael Cohen. Well, Trump like, no, he was going after the law clerk again. And so was Trump's lawyers were going after the law clerk and going after the judge. Well, that's a big no-no. Yeah, he is in trouble as well. That's right. Um, so he's told Trump, you're not a viable rent witness. And here's a $10,000 fine for violating the gag order. And next time you violate it, it's going to be jail, jail time. And he'll do it. And Goran's not afraid of Trump. Okay. He's seen guys like Trump. Okay. Oh, yeah. Inflating uh, property values. Yeah. Um, I think he bought, when Trump bought um, Mar-a-Lago from uh, Margaret Mary Weather Post, the the serial magnet bought it from her. He paid about two million for the property. I think it was one million or two million. This was back back in the seventies or seventies or eighties when he bought it. Um, yeah, so he tried to inflate it to try to get better loans and everything else. Well, no bank would loan against him now. Uh, Trump's an idiot. He, he's really stupid on this. He really is. Yes, the state of Georgia is now going to be required to redraw the maps, redistricting maps. Well, they're going to have to anyway because of the cent for, for the, um, uh, how, what do you call it? They do it every 10 years. Um, Get that, you know, set up and everything. Because people move in and move out all the time. So. Um. So again, we will see how all this goes. Okay, this story from the Maine is from the Independent newspaper, which is in Maine. And this guy lives in Bowen, Bowen, uh, Bowen uh, Maine. So, um, standoff is still going, but I'll check on, keep an eye on that then on my Mondays. Um, let's see where I am. Check my calendar. Just a minute, let me call it up. Oh, come on. Um, okay, I will still be doing my um, chat on Monday. Okay, just before Halloween. So, um, but I'll keep an eye on it over the weekend for that news. But again, things are coming along and Jack Smith is on top of all this. And they have very, very strong evidence against Trump. And because also there's a gag order in Georgia as well. And, um, oh, another thing too. Um, Eileen Cannon, Judge Eileen Cannon down in Florida, she's in trouble now because uh, Jack Smith has filed an appeal to 
They love a surrogate. So, and I, I hope now the 11th Circuit sees the wisdom and replace her with a judge that's experienced in separate cases. That's what they're called. Security uh, document cases. And um, Because she's done some dumb, dumb things, and she has, she's been trying to help Trump. Well, she's going to find herself in even more in trouble by doing that. She's going to find herself sanctioned and having to pay a fine, and she might lose, lose her job too altogether. So we'll see how all that goes. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I'm having trouble talking. Hope I'm not catching the crud. Um, so, uh, I will see you on Monday at 1 o'clock. And I hope Facebook behaves itself by then. Um, and I will post this video on my YouTube channel. I need more subscribers for my YouTube channel. Um, huh. That's weird. The viewers dropped off. Um, I think you guys are having problems on your end. Anyway, I'll post this on my YouTube channel. Okay? I'll talk to you later. Love you. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you later. Okay? Bye-bye.